at this area we can now review on chapter 3 as we are saying uh, the key issue ni qualitative characteristics of financial statements kwa hiyo kuna quantitative characteristics na qualitative characteristics. we are talking about qualitative characteristics manake which information to be included in financial statements that's the reason kwa hii kisho ni hiyo. Kwa hiyo ni ikipi kiingie kwenye sub. Ndoja msingi. Kwa hiyo lengo la hii chapter ni hiyo. Kwa mfano wewe unapofika nyumbani, si ndio? Umeondoka tangia asubuhi na rudi jioni. Yule binti wa kazi anakuletea taarifa za mule ndani. Sawa. Sasa kuna taarifa ambazo za msingi ambazo anatakiwa kuletea. Mika vizuri. Akishopa taarifa zile unazisummarize, unazicheck and balance. Alafu mume akija na wewe kuna taarifa za kumpa mzee ambazo za nini? Za msingi. Sasa kuna zingine ambazo hazina msingi. Eh? Kwa sababu mzee anapoziona zile za msingi anachukua action kufanya kazi. Kwa sisi waandaji wa hisabu tunatakiwa to include taarifa za msingi kwenye financial statements. Sasa zile taarifa za msingi ndio zina sifa, yani ziwe na sifa zipi? Nimeleka mpaka. Kwa hiyo hoja sasa neno qualitative kuna two fact. Number one, kuna zile fundamental character. Alafu kuna nini? Enhancing. Enhancing. Kwa fundamental na enhancing tofauti yake. Fundamental ni zile ambazo huwezi kuzikiuka. Kwenye mkataba kuna condition na option. Sawa? So, kwenye mkataba kwa mfano if SSL good contract. Kwa mfano, mnasema nataka kununua gari. Mnataka kuingia mkataba kununua gari. Lazima utaje specification kwenye mkataba. Sasa the specification kuna specification ambazo hutakiwi kuzikiuka kwa sababu kisha zikiuka zinavunja mkataba. Kwa mfano zikiwa zikiwa hivyo tunasemaje kwenye mkataba. Nataka uniletee gari aina ya V8. Manake neno V8 lazima iwepo pale kwenye mkataba na atataja na engine aina na kadhalika. Ndio gari yenyewe hilo. Alafu kwenye option itakuja kwenye rangi. Kwamba inaweza kuwa rangi nyeupe au nyeusi na kadhalika eh hey. sasa langi ni option v8 ni condition sasa ukikiuka ukaleta land cruiser i mean ukaleta labda Volkswagen baada ya v8 unakiuka condition huwezi kuvumilia hapo lakini ikaja v8 lakini langi tofauti unasema that was an option mnaweza kunegotiate the same car kwa katika hizi characteristics kuna fundamental na enhancing. Sasa wanasema hizi enhancing zina support fundamental. Nimeleka mpaka hapo. Haya. Sasa twende kwenye zivyo kasa. Kwa hiyo let us discuss now the fundamental characteristics of these informations. It has two aspects. Kwa hiyo as you talk of fundamental there are many aspect two ya kwanza an aspect of relevance ya pili faithful representation so fundamental quality inakuwa na aspect hizi mbili nimeleka mpaka kwa information is fundamental if it is relevant again information is fundamental if it is faithful representation representation eh sasa nita leo leta kidogo neno relevance linamaanisha nini kwenye kwenye financial statements na neno faithful representations linamaanisha nini kwenye financial statements sasa kabla unjoje kwenye financial statements unakuja kwenye hali ya kawaida kitu hiki ni relevance huwa manake nini kwa sababu pia kwenye five kipo kwa mfano nataka kuongelea relevance kwa ufupi tu kwa nutshell kwa hiyo mtaani wewe unakagua hesabu za mwaka 2024 na 
Sawa. Mtu amekuleta bank statement ya mwaka 2020. Wakati wao nakagua miaka unakatusema sume 23 labda ya ya ya, ya kisani ya ya private sector kuanzia January mpaka December. Mtu kakuletea bank statement ya mwaka 2020. Is it relevant? Si ndio. Kwa unasema hii taarifa unaniletea mimi na, na concentrate kwenye 2023. Exactly. So we need information in this framework. This one is an information it might be appropriate but not relevant to this accounting period. So hata kwa taxation kuna relevance. Tunakagua income tax ya mwaka huu hapa. Wewe umeleta taarifa za this is irrelevance. Ndio unapokuja kuzungumza. Umenisikia mpaka hapo? Mfano mwingine wa irrelevance. Kwa mfano eh wewe una binti anasoma CB. Umenisikia binti? Sasa akamleta Juma. Sasa Juma nataka kunioa. Haya. Sasa mmeenda mkapelezwa kuta Juma na binti yako wanaishi chumba kimoja miaka yote minne. Sasa mnakwenda kusema ngo tufunge ndoa. Sema katumia kwanza ukimwi. Hivi cheti cha ukimwi ni relevance kwa hii taarifa. Kwa nini? Sasa kama kama kwa kuingiza chama Eh yani unatafuta una nini? Kwa neno neno relevance liko hivyo kwenye kwenye ukaguzi kwenye lugha za mitaani. Sijui sikia paka. Kwa wakati fulani unapoongea kitu nenda kwanza neno hili limezoeka vipi mitaani? Kwa when this is a relevant information manake zinamgusa mtu kwenye kile anachokitaka. Kwa sasa msomaji wa taarifa zako wewe anataka, anataka ku, kukiona kile kinachomgusa. Kwa anapokuta kuna vita ambavyo havimgusi. Vinakuwa ni vina eh, tupo kwenye culture harusi, budget ya harusi. Humu tuongelea michango ya harusi. Wewe unaongelea msiba wa makajuzi. Hizi taarifa zake kwanza tumalize kwanza kwa hichi hii itatuvuruga hapa. <laughs> Maana kama ndio taarifa ambazo hazihusiani na lengo la kikao. Ndio maana kikao kinakuwa na agenda. Kwa financial statements zina agenda za miezi 12. Kwa hiyo peleka taarifa ambazo ni relevance kwa hapo. Sijui sikia mpaka. Eh, sasa Facebook inakuwa inaongelea wewe mtoa taarifa uwe mwaminifu kutoa taarifa za kuaminika na sahihi ndio faithful representation this is our trick nimeleka mpaka hapo sasa twende kwenye standard wasema kwa yenyewe sasa anapo define eh ni kingine sikuweka hapa ni materiality kwamba something is material if it is in the form of size na nature kwa irrelevance unapo define inakuwa na vitu sasa ambavyo viko hapa na fupisha hapa ili tuende mbele. So relevance of financial statement kama alikuwa anasema. Sasa kuna vitu ambavyo vina prove relevance kiprofessional. Kitu cha kwanza predictive value. Umenisikia mpaka? Predictive value. Imekaa vizuri. Predictive value. Cha pili confirmatory value alafu materiality Umenisikia mpaka? Sasa neno predictive ni nini? Mara zote auditor anachambua financial statement. Umenisikia mpaka hapo? Kwa hiyo kwa mfano chukua mnakagua ile tasiri ambayo inafanya commercial public sector. Wana me ile probe ile so ile pale kwa hiyo mnaifanya je pale una unaitizama sasa wote anaangalia mapato ya hiyo taasisi anaweza kuangalia revenue anaweza kuangalia expense wewe umemwandalia hesabu tutaka kupima neno predictive kwa hiyo utaru looking it anasema okay give me the information mnampelekea yeye anaangalia kwenye trend ya miaka trend ya miaka kwa mfano assume ni 20 20 then 20 21 20 22 then we are 20 23 sasa anasoma taarifa zenu zilizopita 
anakutana na, na mapato ya mwaka. Kwa mfano, una mapato hapa milioni ya mbili. Si ndio? Hapa kuna mapato ya milioni hamsini. Hapa una mapato ya 1B. Hapa una mapato ya 400B. Haya. Wewe umepeletea hesabu kama mkurugenzi au mkuu wa hiyo taasisi. Haya mapato tunaelewaje? Una yani unapo unapo taasisi yako inaleta mapato kama haya. Yaani asimu ile ni biashara yako. Sasa unasema hii biashara yako inatabirika ndio predictive kwa biashara yako huwezi kutumia taarifa ya mwaka fulani ukafanya prediction ya mwaka unaofuata sababu hai hai kwa sasa hesabu zako wewe ndio maana unapozipeleka wana check ile trend ya ya 1 then coming to ya yeah. 2 si ndio kwa hiyo mtu anapiki zile elements kwenye financial statements alafu anazitengenezea trend anakuta information yako still relevant hatuwezi kudepend on it it is something vago you might have been having some problem ya performance kwa hapa lazima strike na hata watu wa benki ukitaka kupe mkopo wanakwambia tupe mapato yako ya mwaka mzima kwa miezi 12 wakikuta hichi kitu hawakupi mkopo wanasema that there is a risk yeah sababu utoka 200 ehe Amsi. Tena ukapanda ghafla. Ukapanda ghafla. Eh. 1B. Eh. Umetoka 1B. Eh. Kaja 4B. Eh. Sasa au kweli au upate maelezo ya kulitosheleza. Kwenye notes. Kwenye notes. Ni yeah. mwa description ya paper presentation. Sasa hapa mimi ukinipa hii hapa, mimi mm. nimesoma forensic codes. Cha kwanza kama ni private sector. Mm. Tutaanza kushughuli na money laundering. Kwa maana huyu anaweza kuchukua mm. madaraka yake. Ndivyo sababu zao zilivyo wao. Sawa? Haziko constant. Yaani haziko constant. Ukienda kwa saluni, una nimeenda kukagua mimi vitu sana. Unafika unakuta mtu anauza ana saluni. Sawa? Anasuka nywele. Alafu anaduka la vipodozi. Wiki hii kwa China anakuja milioni sita zimeingia kwenye account. Kesho iko open hakuna kitu. Watu naona pale wanaokuja wamesuka watu kama kumi tu. Si ndio? Lakini kule kwenye bank account zimeingia milioni moja. Sasa zimeingia zimetokana mauzo ya, ya wapi? Kwa sasa pale ikishatokea hicho kitu ndio unatokea mwanzi sasa upelelezi wa ndani kwamba hapa kuna fraud, kuna kuna utakatishaji wa fedha. Unamkuta na ana grocery. Anafungua hiyo hiyo ya, ya bia hii anafungwa kwenye saa 4 saa 5 ndio anafungwa alafu unakuta wanaokunywa pale wako watu wawili watatu lakini kuja kwenye ana BMW gari au V8 na anakuja nalo pale sasa mtu ambaye ana grocery tu ya BA amepata pesa pesa kuna V8 sasa hizi ndo tunasema information zile they are not predictives lakini pia they form part of irrelevance information in preparations sasa mwasibu unapata kuandaa hesabu uwe makini na proposed figure ambazo sio predictive either kwenye revenue au expense Zi, angalia sana hicho kwa sababu ikija kamati ya pack wale ni wasibu kwa wanapoanza kukagua utaitwa mwasibu wende utetee hiyo taarifa kwamba yani itoe mashaka eh mabonde mabonde hayo yaweze kuondolewa hasa this point umeelewa nino yeah. the way you are saying it is predictive, predictive. Yeah. sasa confirmatory wanasema it is an ability of an information to provide feedback from previous predictions this is confirmatory so an information is confirming what we had predictions sasa case noni hapa ni hii kwa mfano we have a column of budget we have a column of actual results sawa so, sasa if a budget on revenue budget 
milioni 400. Actual results ikaja 399. Almost one ile kosekana. Unasema this one is giving a feedback on what we predicted. Sawa. So, expense muli budget ya tano. Muka expend ya tano. Labda wages muli budget ishilini. Mkaenda kuwa na wages ya themanini. Is that bringing feedback? Kwa sasa hizi zina bring feedback. This one does not confirm. Ndiyo maana sasa ipsa is number 24 inataka kufanya reconsideration kati ya actual na budget in order to sanction confirmatory value of an information so it's very important to note this one kuta kuta unapokuwa na conceptual framework ndo unaza standard imekasa so this is how it works sasa kwenye materiality ambayo nilizungumza jana I was talking on issues of materiality. Kwamba materiality as we are saying something is material because its omission or misstatement can mislead the user who is using it. Kwa mfano leo tunazungumzia nini? Kwa mfano wewe umepewa ajira. You have been employed somewhere. Ukapeleka certificate sawa alafu kwa ajili baadaye kigundulika kwamba ile certificate ni ya kuushi forged manake that is misstatement of information sasa we are, is this material kwa material sana kuja iki sio chete ambacho kimpa ajira eh je baada ya kuonekana ni cha kuforge bado tunaendelea kumvumilia anafukuzwa manake that information is material Umenisikia mpaka hapo? Kwa sasa unapoongelea kwamba materiality maana something has an influence to a user. Eh. Sijuma sisi kwenye kwenye kuneni hapo. Maka sisi tunaomba ili upate mke. Sasa umeomba umeomba ukapata na kwenda sasa kutaka mke, wewe unataka uwe form au na degree. Ukakuta sasa ni form 4. Ha, je bado unaendelea kuvumilia? Sawa mambo ya elimu bwana mambo ya sisi timuke ah tabia iko nzuri wewe unaachana mambo ya elimu unachukua ondoka naye eh bali kwa kwa sasa hiyo ni material kwa sasa ndio vitu vya kutazama kwamba materiality ni kitu ambacho kikiondolewa au kikawa kikawepo na kikaka forge kinaweza kukuathiri wewe usiende na sasa hapa kuna kesi mbili kwa nazungumzia sawa lazima upime materiality kwenye nature na size nature ni kiwango cha transaction i mean nature, size ni kiwango cha transaction how much amount in quantity lakini hiyo ndio size lakini nature ni quality so this is quantity this is quality kwa kuna quantity na quality very important hii ni quality size ni quality eh yani size ni quantity uh, size ni quantity eh nature ni quality, quality. kwa mfano kuna kitu hiki kuna missing voucher za laki nane mika vizuri tena kuna missing voucher za milioni kumi. unanisikia mpaka hapo hapa tunaangalia quantity sasa katika hizi ipi ambayo ni material uh, ya 10 eh ya ten. kwa sababu ya quantity kwa hiyo unakuwa unacheck ni kiasi gani kina upotevu na kutokana na quantity hakivumiliki Umenisikia mpaka? Yes. Haya. Twende kwenye quality. Hapa taweka. <coughs> 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 
quality na utakuta haya mambo yanakuwa with respect to certain entity kwa hivyo unachukulia jeshi na polisi si ndio haya zimepoke zimepotea uniform uniform shingapi unazoshona naweza kwa 200 eh haya uniform za 200 Unaelewa? Uniform za jeshi. Unasikia mpaka hapo? Kuna upotevu wa uniform za jeshi za laki mbili au lisasi za laki mbili. Hazionekani ziliko. Haya. Tena kuna upotevu wa fedha cash ya milioni moja. Haya. Ipi ni material pale? Uniform kwa sababu ya nature yani kutoka nature ya entity hapa kwenye info hii taarifa huwezi kupona lakini ni moja unaweza kusema hii ni kawaida ngoja tuvumilie lakini hii hii info sio mchezo ni isha ambayo kutoka nature ya taasisi sasa ingekuwa ni info za shida msingi haina shida <laughs> kwa sababu sasa hiyo ndio maana ukisikia nature ni ile quality ya item ipo katika yani inahusu nini kutoka ta wagonjwa wakati wa covid mtu ana covid madaktari watakapo amekufa mgonjwa mmoja mpaka rais anatangaza wamekufa wawili sasa unauliza mbona ngiona nakufa wengi sana huko hapo sitini sisi hatutangazwi issue ni nature ya covid eh mpaka kaja ni watu walivyokufa huko si sasa unauliza kwa nini mgonjwa wa covid akifa rais anatangaza lakini mgonjwa wa mafua hawatangazi ajali imetokea watu sita kumi watu hawasikitiki lakini kafa mgonjwa mmoja kwa covid nature ya ugonjwa ni material kwenye information serikali iweze kuchukua hatua za za haraka sasa at this point umeona kwenye hiyo fundamental upande wa nini relevance kwa sasa hesabu zenu nyinyi unataka suzitizane. Si ndio? Item ambazo tunataka kuziingiza ziwe na hizi sifa. Ziwe na materiality, ziwe na predictive values, ziwe na confirmatory values. At least msomaji akisoma ajisikie kwamba yuko kwenye mahali ambapo umepata hesabu salama. Kwa sababu baada hapo sasa inakuja issue ya pili ambayo utaenda haraka ili kusaidia sawa sawa. Niitwaje? Face kwa ya kwanza katika enhancing i ah, know atimaliza ile nani fundamental fundamental ziko mbili ah, yes tunaipo nyenye faithful yeah. neno faithful ni sema uaminifu wa mtu wa taarifa sawa so, mtu wa taarifa ametoa taarifa kwa uaminifu ndio okay. no, faithful representation sasa ili kujua kupima hichi kigezo na definition of faithful representation inasema hivi kwamba mtu anapokuwa anaongea mdomoni kuna maneno yanatoka mdomoni je ndio ambayo yako moyoni eh kwa sababu kama unayozungumza mdomoni sio ambayo yako mdomoni wewe unakuwa represent kitu ambacho sio faithful eh sasa polisi anapomoje kibaka huwa na kazia macho hivi ili aone <laughs> utakuta kibaka kama anadanganya anaanza kuogopa hivi kwa sababu yale yako moyoni tofauti na yeye yaongea alafu anatafuta logic anaenda naenda anarudi tena nyuma anakuta anabadilika badilika ili kujua moyoni kuna nini no face but we with this not face presentation sasa sisi wasibu tunapoandaa financial statements tuna produce matumizi ya fedha auditor anataka kuona kwamba zile receipts ni fesfu ataanza kuangalia nini neutrality eh hey, kwamba hivi huyu mimi ninapomsikia ameniletea matumizi hapa eh hivi anakupeleka hisabu TRA na kule benki taarifa zinakuwa zinalingana eh hey, au hapa si kuna mkuu wake idara anapeleka matumizi ndizo hizo ambazo analeta kwenye hesabu au kule kuna kupinda pinda kwa kama unapinda pinda wanasema wewe uko biased. Eh. Kwa hiyo wanasema huyu mtu 
akija kwangu anasema hivi lakini mimi anapomwambia mkurugenzi matumizi anamwambia yule tofauti na mimi nikienda kule benki tofauti nikienda TRA tofauti tofauti eh? sasa wasema huyu bwana sio neutral yuko bias manake anapika pika hesabu that's where we have creating accounting eh? amefika hapa anadai hesabu amekuta imegoma akaenda kagushi depreciation ili balance asinge goma asinge badilisha manake anayumba yumba sasa ota kija anaanza kukuhoji naomba all evidence hii nilete hii ni ile kama unachoandika hapa ni sahihi nipe account policy ambayo umetumia ku compute depreciation so these are audit evidence imekasa sasa neno complete completeness ni nini kila transaction transaction na point A na B si ndio kwa mfano mmeenda kulipa seminar hii ni point B mtaenda wapi kujua hii seminar mimi naenda kwenye SP strategic plan kwamba hawa kwenye watakuwa wamesema mwaka huu tunataka tuwe na exact alafu ikitoka hapo naenda kwenye budget kwa sababu gani unapoandaa budget unaangalia SP hiyo ndio auditing nikitoka hapo ninakuja sasa implementation kwenye actual fedha ilikuja kiasi gani kwa ajili ya kifungu napata fedha iliyokuja haya naenda kwenye dala waliandikisha watu wangapi kwenda kwenye seminar na kuja nani alikuwa mwezeshaji kwa sasa hii ni auditing sasa napokuta kuna malipo yamefanyika hapa lakini hayapo kwenye budget incomplete information kwa nitaambia hebu nipe ee budget mli, uta, mli how do you come up to this figure kwa kama there are some missing information manake there is incomplete information ambayo huwezi ku sanction cause order na come up with an idea ya kuona wewe you are not faithful in giving me information imekasa kwa mfano sisi tuna nyumba tumepangisha labda ni vibanda wamepanga watu wanalipa kodi milioni mbili kwa kila mwezi si ndio tuna vibanda viko kama hivyo kumi. maana kwa mwezi kiasi gani milioni 20 si ndio kwa nakuta sasa wewe ili upokee fedha serikali nataka kuona FD ile control number ambayo umempeleka yule kalipa kwenye control number si ndio hasa kama amelipa mtaata kuona control number ya milioni 20 kwa mwezi mmoja tena kwa miezi 12 sasa mara 12 hapo napata ngapi milioni 24 si ndio sasa nakuta kwenye revenue umeandikia milioni 19 ambayo hata kwa haigawanyiki kwa miaka yani hai sasa e kwanza ni complete lakini unapata milioni 19 wakati haiji kwenye bei ya kule mtaanza kuoje sasa hebu niletee mikataba ambayo umeingia na wale watu Ye, yeah, mwakata with holding tax. Kuna maswali hapo. Kwa sasa kama taarifa hazijakamilika, mimi nakuwa napitisha taarifa yako lakini naandika incomplete. Sasa pale kwenye complete naanza kucheki. Ni kiasi gani? Labda ni milioni moja. Is it material to me? You see if yes na na don't down. Kama ni material naacha nayo. That is complete information ndoma ina kuja issue of missing payments voucher mm. missing contract yeah. na kadhalika na kadhalika kuna mtu mmoja ni wakubwa sana kwenye hesabu zao eh wana mikoa 20 nasikia katika mikoa 20 ile wana majengo ambayo wamepangisha wazabuni fulani fulani nilipiga mahesabu hesabu zile kwa mwaka zile rent zinaweza kuingiza milioni 180 kama mapato yao sasa nikaenda kwenye financial statement zao revenue wameandika tu from treasure hii ya ha, hii 180 haipo yani haipo kabisa kwenye hesabu wanasema haya ni mambo madogo madogo ambayo sasa mimi mimi nikamwambia sasa ah, yaani ukiona hii ni ya yote inchi zile sasa inaonekana 
Livu kuja ku study. Yaani internet system ni ndogo. Kwa hiyo inaonekana walio ingia mikataba na wale haikuwa officialize. Kwa ni kama off balance sheet issues. Kwa mfano mtu makamu kiko Dar es Salaam, alafu kibanda kiko hapo. Si ndio? Kuna issue hii ime nikawaambia sikiliza. Nyinyi mimi ninavyoona hii Mnya moja semanini kwa fedha ya serikali ni kubwa sana in aggregates. Inawezekana kwenye mkoa kule mtu analipa laki mbili kwa mwezi. Sawa. Inakuwa ni ndogo sana kwenye level ya mkoa kwa chumba kimoja. Sasa inapokuja kwa vyumba vyote kwenye aggregate ina maana inakuwa material. Kwenye level ya mkoa au eneo husika ni material. Lakini in aggregates this is a problem kwa ni kawashauri wafanye kitu hapo sasa free from material ela ni hizo sasa account policy mnazotumia ku charge depreciation eh kwamba magari umeweka kiasi gani umefanya impairment yes Ume, umetengeneza account policy nzuri ya taasisi mna account manyo ambayo ina describe namna ambavyo mtapata taarifa kwenye balance sheet na kadhalika sasa zile zapokosekana wanasema pale kuna material error kama zipo wanasema it is free from material error sasa wewe unasema depreciation umesha charge alafu huna account policy account manyo haipo ambayo ina describe use of life so unasema umepataje hii taarifa yani how do you charge depreciation without having use of life so look up Manaka that one conflict. Aye. Kwa sasa these three bring about Facebook. So Facebook information must be neutral, information must be complete and information must be free from material error. That's very important. Ukisema relevance, information must be predictive, confirmatory and an issue of material. Those are the issues. From there we can go to enhancing. chapter number 4. I mean in enhancing is sorry. Enhancing. Chapter number 4. Aha. Twende sasa enhancing sasa ina understandability. Sawa. Nimekuambia kwenu nyinyi kuna TFRS number 1 ambayo ina explain kuna rate how the service has been done for 12 months. Sasa if understandability manake is ability of somebody to produce information which is understandable. Sasa ukisema tu training wa ya mwaka bioni moja. Uelezi wangapi walienda kwa wamu ngapi na output wa muda gani. That one is not well understandable. Alafu kuna ile language unayotumia inapaswa kuwa simple and understandable. Imekaa vizuri kosa hii ndo understandability of an information wanasema is a quite of an information that enable user to comprehend to comprehend its meaning yani anaweza kuielewa vizuri akai master kwa hiyo wakati fulani nilikuwa kule shule kwetu sisi kwenye hesabu nataka nifunje kitu fulani nikipo kwenye walimu kuna walimu aina mbili mimi naweza kuchukua notes za kwa kwa hizo nikaanza copy baoni wanafunzi wanaandika lakini sio mwalimu hisabu. Kuna copy hivi naandika x plus 2 naandika paka namaliza. Wanafunzi wana copy wana copy wanakuwa wanasomea wanafaulu. Ila mwalimu sio hisabu. Hmm. Kwa the same, wanasema bwana hii ni history aweka fundishe hizo ni rais. Kwa mtu anachukua nusu ya history anaweza ku copy baoni. Alafu anazisoma pale. Anamaliza, wanafunzi wanakuwa wanasomea wanafaulu. Hiyo sio transfer of knowledge. Sasa mtu wa taarifa lazima kwanza I own taarifa ile. Na hata anapoisoma yeye mwenyewe itoke kwenye mwili wake, ihamie kwenye mwili wa mtu mwingine. Sasa watu wengi wanadai hesabu zile hata wao wenyewe hawazielewi zile financial statements. Alafu anataka kupelekea mtu akazisome aelewe. Sasa hiyo una, unaelewaje? We mwenyewe tu pale uzielewe. <laughs> Sasa hizo information Si understandable. Na most of the statement have those characteristics. Kwa watu wanaohesabu, yeye mwenyewe anda haelewi hiyo taarifa iko. 
Sasa ikishafika hapo ndio ukija kuhojiwa sasa na CAG unakuta mtu atafuta bahasha pale. Mhm. Sasa mwekezi nani? Hebu uje huku bosa na pita. Hivi umefikia hoteli gani? Unasikia <laughs> hapo? Sasa twende vizuri. So you must produce information ambazo mtu anaposoma ana comprehend on its meaning. Yaani anaweza kuelewa. Sasa ili iwe hivyo tutataka kuona ile TFS number 1 ume sanction umezichambua na zimekuwa understandable Umeka sawa eh haya timeline ni kwa naongelea uwezo wa taarifa kufika kwa wakati ambao mtumiaji anataka tuna watumiaji mbalimbali sio tuna watu wabunge kwa mfano tuna donor funds na kadhalika sabunge lina kama mwezi wa ngapi mwezi wa sita. Si ndio ndio wanafunga tuseme. Kwa wa bunge wanakuwa na jadili hesabu za mwaka uliopita. Sio huo ambao tunamalizia. Sasa ikitokea mtu hesabu za mwaka jana haja submit kwa CAG. Maana it is out of time. Kasi a time bad. Ibiga sampa kabu. Kwa wanasema timeline ni uwezo wa mwandaji wa hesabu kuandaa hesabu kwa muda tayari kwa mtumiaji kuzipata. Yes, on time basis. Kwa sababu user kuna wakati anataka wewe mwenyewe. Hii ndio nataka nitumie. Kwa formi saa hizi kuna mtaani mwezi wa ngapi? Wa nane. Wa ipsa, si ndio? Kwa mimi nataka nitoe taarifa mapema kwako. Kabla ya mwezi wa nane. Eh. Hey. Hey. Eh. Hey. Sasa nakupa taarifa nyingine mwezi wa tisa wakati mtaani ameshapita. That one is relevant. Do some tricks. So the information should arrive on time. Lakini kasema comparability comparability ndio inasema it is the quality of an information that enable user to identify similarities in and differences in two set of phenomena kwa mtu akiziona anaweza kuzicompare akaiona tofauti so comparability is not a quality of an individual item of information but rather a quality of the relationship between two or more items of information kwa mfano tunataka ku analyze utendaji kwa mfano mnadhani mwezi wa ngapi unaokuja utasikia halmashauri ambazo zimeongoza kwa makusanyo jana nilikuwa nasikia taarifa ya Kigoma sawa halmashauri ya Kigoma DC wamekusanya mapato ya ndani wakaenda kujenga nyumba za watumishi kwa mapato ya ndani maana katika mkoa mzima wa Kigoma ile halmashauri inaonekana imefaa vizuri sasa yule akawa anasema tuna mashauri ngapi katika Kigoma? Zige mfano kwa mazingira ya Kigoma. Imekaa vizuri. Sasa in the same industry Kigoma wataka kuona comparison, maana kwa fanya comparisons na zingine na zingine zijafanya. Sasa ili ufanye comparisons, yule ameenda kucheki kwenye item ya mapato ya ndani. Kumbuka the same mkoa Uvinza wamevuja pesa nyingi paka wazimkuu kachukua hatua. Kwa unafanya comparisons, nienda katika <coughs> similar area, alafu una una, una comment. Kwa utakuta comparisons, comparability pia ina facilitate kuwa na account policy yenye same. Unapotizama sasa kwa mfano wizara. Ukisoma kitabu cha wizara kwenye voti. Wizara zote zile notes ziko uniform. Kwa hivyo note number 40 inasema kitu fulani. Yes, yes, yes. Kama umeshafuatia sana. Yeah, Lengo ni kwamba ukitaka kuanalyze comparability kwenye hizo item mm. ni rahisi hata kwenye consolidation na eh. kwenda kufanya kwa exactly. exactly. Ukiwa unajua kabisa kwa sababu kila mmoja akiwa na notes zake tofauti. Hata yule anafanya consolidation. Hawezi ndio maana comparability. Yeah. Kwa sasa tunaanza kuielewa. Yeah. Lakini pia kuna comparability, ama ni kuna consistent na uniformity. Sasa hivi tumeingia kwenye muse. Kwa mtu anapofanya budget anacheki zile notes na semaje. Sasa information tutakuta kwa mfano niende kwa mtu mmoja. Mwaka huu note namba 40 inaongelea kitu fulani. Mwaka unaokuja kitu kingine. Note namba 40. Sasa what is note number 40 is? Manaka uweze kukompare kwa sababu gani? Ya mwaka huu inaongelea depreciation. Ya mwaka jana ilikuwa inaongelea impairment. Ya mwaka juzi ilikuwa inaongelea wages and salaries. The same note number 40 
that one is not comparable. You don't have uniformity, you don't have consistency, you don't have the same account policy to make comparable for comparisons. Na ukiangalia comparisons inaweza kukupa relevance. Muona nilikuwa nakwambia information be relevance unakuwa na different years. Iweze kuwa na predictiveness na confirmatory. Sasa if they are not comparable, you can't reflect relevance. Kwa ina maana comparability is an input of relevance there in the fundamental quality. Okay. So let's go to verifiability again. To verify is most suited to stock account. If you are counting cash, a lot of cash kwa kwa mfumo wa zamani ule, watu wanahesabu fedha. Sasa hivi nini? Lakini sasa hivi ukicheki hata hela kuhesabu fedha hatukai nazo ofisini. Tunaitwa kwenye account ya mteja. Kwenye swala la fedha. Lakini tumebakia na inventory. Eh? Unataka kuhesabu limu ziko ngapi? Kama una stock ya limu kubwa na labda kuna wino, and then kuna uniform. Those are inventories. Sasa kujua zimebakia ngapi? Watakwenda timu ya watu watano watahesabu zile uniform wakishamaliza wanaandika ripoti wana sign unatia watu wengine timu ya watu watano tofauti wale wa mwanzo wape kazi hiyo hiyo uone sasa uone majibu ya hawa na hawa una verify sasa yeah, una verify kwamba ikitokea the same answer maana mm. that's true wakitofautiana kuna shida hiyo ndio verification so you are verifying stock so we are saying two Knowledge of a person have to come with the same consensus. Waje na jawabu hilo hilo. Hapo unasema ume verify. Sasa kwenye masuala ya nani? Ya upelelezi taarifa inaweza kuja. Bwana same plan kuna kitu hiki. Sasa ku verify unawatuma watu wengine wakakione kama kweli kipo. Hiyo ndio verifiability kwa mambo kama haya unakuta hujalizika wakisema kipo unatuma watu wengine tena wakakiangalia wanasemaje tuwe tena picha na na sauti ya video eh si ndio wanapolete asa hapo tume verify hapo sasa chukua hatua <laughs> eh sasa we have done now this one i think it's possible kwa hiyo sasa chapter 4 ni sema ni reporting ente ndani ina shida kwako chapter 5 tusema ni elements of financial statements ambazo Tulianza na hiyo definition ya asset na kwa definition ya liability na eh, sasa labda ni niongeze kitu hapa ambacho mm-hmm. kitakusaidia pia nikasema <coughs> unapozisoma elements hizi nizo weka hapo these are what call elements each elements must be observed on these five key issues for example asset where do what is the asset where do we present this asset how do we recognize the asset how do we disclose sasa kwa mfano definition what is asset si ndio nitakueleza sasa hapo utajua ni kitu gani alafu where do we present the asset i will explain sasa hapa kuna kitu kizuri sana ambacho nilikiacha jana kwa sababu ya hali ya kuwasaidia. Sasa hapa tuje kwa mfano. Au toko na asset. Look ya. Kwa sababu hapa ndo naanza kuingia napo sasa vizuri. Asset inasemaje? Ah, uh, okay. Timi dosis so that I can help you. au ili uelewe vizuri hapo vinginevyo au tanielewa it is very simple lakini nikianza ku initiate kitu hapa natakiwa uwe na uelewa ambao umekuwa permanent <coughs> tuanze na asset they describe 
vizuri na hapo kisha faelewa basi hesabu za kusumbua kwanza definition kwa hiyo asset wanasema is asset is a pleasant resource kwa issue ya kwanza wanasema nini pleasant resource pleasant resource yani neno present resource sasa nisikie tena present resource ikisema hivyo unaweza usielewe sana neno present maana yake ipo umeelewa kwa hiyo umenunua gari liko bandari na jafika hiyo yes, bado yes. haijafika kwenye eneo lako ni ati lakini inakosa kitu kingine resource tunaweza kuwa na meza sawa lakini imevunjika hatuwezi kutumia umenisikia maana inakosa resourceful so to be resourceful is a potential of giving economic benefit from that asset tuna maji yapo is present na ni carton 10000 lakini yame expire hapo hatuna maji kwa sababu not resource to us so move so an asset is a present resource number 2 controlled by reporting entity kwa lazima iwe controlled so it's present resource again must be controlled by reporting entity sasa neno reporting entity naweza kukuingia kilini ni ile entity ambayo inatoa hesabu haya arising from past events again future economic benefit or service potential is expected kwa sasa hapa tunaanza unisikize kwa makini sana haya maneno haya ni wasema ndio yanayotuletea matatizo natafanua kidogo ili twende sawa nimesema present imeeleweka kwa sababu sasa hivi iko ofisini resource ipo ofisini katika hali nzuri ya kutumika au kuuza kutumika sasa unaweza kuwa na gari la ofisi limetumwa matairi liko juu ya mawe hilo sio resource sio resource aikupi kuna kwa benefits wala service controlled maana yake nini mmeazima gari kutoka wizara nyingine limekuja pale mnatumia hamna control na kwa sababu wizara hiyo inaweza kuja kulichukua maana yake gari hilo haliruhusiwi kuingia kwenye pile kwa sababu ya control hivi ukimwajiri mtu akaingia kwenye ajira unaweza ukamzuia sihamu ndio maana human being hawezi kuwa asset because we can't control them kwa kikwambia why labor are not classified as asset, asset yeah. cha kwanza no control cha pili no measurement Aya. arising from past events ulipataje hiyo asset kwa njia ya kununua kama ni inventory kama ni viti kwa njia ya kupewa kama donation kutoka treasurer kama transfer kwa njia ya kujenga kama ni jengo kwa njia construction sasa ota kija anapo audit asset anaza na vitu hivi cha kwanza kuna gari nionyeshe magari yako wapi unampeleka anakuta yako juu ya mawe maana yake not resourceful <laughs> nipe document zenu kwa mnamiliki magari ya sasa unakuta kwa mfano eh, kambi nyingi za jeshi wananchi wamevamia sasa wanagombana tupe hati yenu hawajeshi hawana wananchi nao hawana kesi zaishia wapi inaenda bungeni kule <laughs> hawana control so control it is the ability of a public sector to restrict others to use that asset kwa sasa tuna authority ndio maana tukitoa gari mpate transfer form number 7 ya hazina 
ile form inakuwa inasema account officer wa taasisi fulani anahamisha gari kwenda taasisi nyingine. Neno control haimaanishi kadi ya gari. Kadi ya gari ni kilezo cha kwanza kwa sababu magari mengi kadi zake zipo kwa IGP. Si ndio? Sasa issue ni ile form number 7 kama umepewa gari. Tutasoma kule mbele kupisha hii. Kwa passive events mlipateje kile kitu? Sasa kwa mfano kuna wizi umetokea. Nasikia unaanza upekuzi. Unapatikana na ile printer. Sasa tupe list ya mbao umenua. Vinginevyo kile kicha wizi. Sasa haya ndio control na ruzuia hii ya kwa ngangalia. Una una save. Sasa asset ya public sector ina njia mbili za kutumia. Eza kuingiza fedha au kutumika kama service. Ndio maana nimeongeza service potential hapa. Neno hili halipo kwenye asset za private sector. Kwa sababu wao wako office oriented. Hiki pengele hiki nimemaliza sasa. Kwa hiyo ukisikia asset register kabla haujaingiza asset na nenda ofisini ucheki asi zote ziwe na sifa definition ya Nimeleka paka po. So that is a definition of asset. Tunakuja presentation. Presentation of what? Asset. Where do we locate it? Where do we locate asset? Kwa kifupi tu unasema asset is an element of balance sheet is presented first free in where balance sheet as number one. rent asset number 2 non current asset kisha kasi that's where we locate it sasa hatutegemee asset iende kwenye performance au pia ende kwa unaonekana ume present the buy kwa kuna zingine tutakuwa kwa current asset zingine non current asset sasa tunakuta wewe gari mwelewe kwenye current asset. Tunasema this is failure to present appropriate against concept of framework. Unapiga hoja. Umevunja concept of framework. Haya. That is presentation. Twende. Inafuata nini? Soma pale. Ah ah. Yeah. Katika zile key issue. Ah presentation recognition. Good news. Kuna kuja tena hapa and recognition of asset hapo ndo issue the cognition of asset what are the criteria for recognition so move for criteria ziko criteria mbili ya kwanza tunasema a public sector shall recognize asset if it is probable that future benefit or service potential will flow to the entity sasa hiyo ya kwanza ya p there is a reliable measurement a reliable measurement of what asset haya kuna vitu ambavyo vinasumbua hapo kwako neno popo baonake nini 
Hmm? Eti dada. Neno popo mwanake mimi. Eh. Wake limetumika hapo. Manake ni. Sa mchungaji ya mambo, mimi sijui. Haya. Kuna vitu ifuata. La kwanza, nisema. Lopa. La pidi, kuna neno. Possible. La tatu, kuna neno. Remote. Sasa, this is from 0%. 20%. This is 20% to 50%. And this is 50% to where? Sasa, wani kufundishe, hizi pasenti ukisanza kusoma, wanza kusumbwa kidogo. Lakini kufundishe kule ilinga, ilifi. Tudi wapi? Ilinga. Ndiyo? Eh? Yeah sa akaja mtu mm. eh, wakati tunakuwa biti biti mdogo pale mm. asa dada njo nakakaa pale ananunua chips naanza kula alafu mkakaa pale asema ningetaka tu naishi pamoja alafu anaondoka hivi sasa kama naongea hivi mm. sema huyu anachongea amenipa na chips mm. ya yeah, kanipa na nauli mm. hivi ule uwezekano kwamba mm. yuko serious ukoje alafu kaondoka mm. unaanza kumweka asimi ya sifuri mpaka ngapi ya inezekana lakini mm. haa watu mm. ndivyo walivyo mm. sindiyo mm. lafla kesho na alarudi kesho tena mara kakwita anaza kutamblisha na nafiki zake mm. na shangazi na baba baba ni fulani tuko same fulani sika bila fulani sindiyo mm. lafu akamuita shangazi shangazi ya inaanza kupana mm. it is now possible, possible. Kwanza 20 mpaka ngapi? 50. Baada mwezi hivi anakuja anamuita imamu. <laughs> Mwa sababu sasa mimi nimeshatenga nao hivi. Naomba tukaone wazazi wako. Ukafanyaje? Ukanitambulishe. Alafu akaye anamshenga. Sasa unapomuona imamu wazazi hapa sasa bibi niwe siri hapa na hapa naondoka sasa. Hapa sasa ndo probable. Hapa ndugu yangu Ishu imesha chemuka hapa. Nijipange. Uyu mtu nami naze kuchunguza. Hivi nikikubali hapa. Itaniyaribia kule kwa imamu. <coughs> Alafu baba tena akijua. Itakuwa shida. Itakuwa shida. Itakuwa kule nyumbani. No probable. Sasa wanasema. Wewe unaposema. Una asset. Yani uweze kama ni gari. Wanasema uweze kano wa gari hilo kutembea. Liwe kwanzi ya msini na zaidi. Yani zaidi ya msini. Kwa gari hilo, lisiwe la kusukuma. Lisiende kupaki juu ya mawe. Kwa hiyo sasa kama una inventory, sawa, kama ni maji ya, mnono kabisa ya misha expire, manake, it's not proper. Kwa mba una inventory. Menisikia? Pale maji ya, nitake ufaya je, mkatupe. Yani, iku kwa yulimoti. Ndiyo mwana siji na pukuta wewe, gari ambalo limepaki juu ya mawe, umengiza kwenye sabu, anauliza, uweze kwenye kutembea gari, wewe unasema ni asimezele ya steam, wakati liko juu ya mawe. Ndiyo mwana sa, it's not probable, kwa mba gari hili, limeza kulenda service. Anatua hoja kutoka na likugunishi likitelia, kwa mba this one is no longer nascent again. Why I don't think in disposing it? Oh, maintenance repair, at least. Na hiyo maintenance and repair, it, it depends. It depends, the status ya, yeah. watu watemesa. Kwa sasa, wewe, sisto po, kuta kuta, tasi nyingi za asirikari sasa, magali mengi ambayo ya mepaki vya mawe, yapo kwenye sabu. Manaka ya nakiuka, concept of framework, kwenye kipengeti ya nini, recognition. Kwa mba, it's not probable that this vya kukeni move. Ndi mwana ataka to assist impairment. Lucia to exterior. So at this point, sasa unaza kuona kipengele cha kwanza. Neno, probable. Hajasema possible, wala remote. Ataka weo unaposema hini asset, uwe na hakika kutoka moyoni. Kwa mba zaidi ya simi ya msini, gali hili neza kutembea.
Kwa hivyo unataka kupanda gari hapa. Kwenda Dar es Salaam. Kuna Shabibi, kuna BM, kuna Kibinyiko, si kuna Champion. Kuna... Unaangalia gari ambalo unajua kabisa nikiingia huko ndani zaidi ya 60 nitalipeleka Dar es Salaam. Sasa mpo kwenye gari stand, sasa tusukume gari. Ndio ianze kutembea. Shuka mule ndani. Kwa sababu uwezekano kutoka pale ni 20 chini ya 20. Eh. That is proper hope. Na ukienda kwenye standard zote wametumia neno proper hope. Zote na recognition asset na hata liability. Neno proper bora msingi kujua hapo. Sasa nimeweka asilimia ili ujue nilikuwa na maanisha nini. Na nilikuwa mfano kidogo ambao unakuhusu wewe ili uelewe nilikuwa na kwa kitu gani hapa. Wewe mwenyewe unapima kwamba hapa naona ha, mtu ambaye anakitima anajua kabisa hii this is possible this is remote this is probable hata unapofanya maombi fulani ya hela unapima kwamba hivi hii inaweza kupata ukikuta remote usiombe <laughs> kwamba hapa si ni kaleta tu mvurugu kwa watu lakini unaomba baba it is possible kwamba kwa sababu gani ninastahili haya sasa neno reliable measurements si ndio labda nikuulize wewe hivi bangi wanaweza bei gani kule ilika mbona cheka eh bangi wana wanaweza bei gani sasa inshi ya bangi <coughs> bei zake ni za black market bei zipo na utaona kabisa watu wa mara watu wa kalia uko wana bei zao kule lakini sasa hakuna soko halisi. Sasa kwa sababu hakuna soko, maana figure zao sio reliable measurements. Hatuwezi kulila. Sasa kuna mbunge alitoa hoja bungeni. Anasema tuache kulima kahawa kule kule Talime, tuanze kulima bangi. Kabuza wewe akataja na bai kwa gundi moja bangi milioni 20. Wakati kahawa <laughs> akasomesha speaker naomba kibali chako turuhusu kulima bangi. Sasa tutamuuliza, hiyo milioni 20 is not reliable kwa hiyo sababu huko unaweza kutumia mshirini. Eh, kule lakini anayesema ni nani? Teja anakupangia bei. Eh, wewe teja anasema una unakubali. Una sasa kutokana hii sasa kwa fa mimi ninamiliki kiwanja. Kiko vikonje. Wanasema ni eka moja kuna miguu sabini. Hivi miguu is it lab? Kwa kuna watu wafupi na warefu. Mnapotaja miguu, mnamaanisha miguu ya nani? Eh hey, sasa hizo miguu hiyo ndio maana kiwanja kinataka kipimwe kwa siku ya mita na mtaalamu wa halmashauri ndio maana sasa labit naanzia pale kwamba lazima kuwe na expert ambaye yuko recognized by the authority of government to give measurements Nileka paka kwa tukiwa na, na gari ndio maana nyinyi unaba hii gari ilipeleka temesa kwa nini wale ni reliable expert to give measurements baada ya pale ndio katengeneze kule ndio tafsiri hiyo kwa hiyo serikali inataka kuona hizi gharama ambazo wasema za matengenezo ni nani amesema kwa sababu kule temesa kuna maengineer wana arabi namba ya engineer research board kwamba akikosea hapa atawajibishwa kama mtaalamu na professional husika mimi hapa nilipewa kibali na TRA cha kufanya assessment kwa niaba ya mteja kwa sababu ni tax consultants ni professional ni kitoa assessment ile hawezi kupinga because i'm reliable i'm registered yeah. with a government authority kwa hiyo hakikisha sana vitu ambavyo unaingiza kwenye sabu its yeah. measurements ni reliable na auditor anakuwa na assess appropriate audit evidence Manaki he need to see somebody who is giving measurement is reliable. Sasa recognition ni vitu vingapi? Viwili. Cha kwanza it is probable that economic benefit and service potential will flow. Number two, there is reliable measurements. Sasa inaweza tuna shamba la la office. Liko vikindu. Lile shamba halijapimwa hatuwezi kuingiza kwenye sabu mpaka lipimwe kama lijapimwa litaka kwenye notes to give additional information lakini limepimwa peleka kwenye face imekaa sawa haya tumepima shamba 
Gereza la Rwanda no la Songwe Mbea si ndio tumejenga halafu ghafla ikaonekana chini ya gereza kwenye shamba kuna madini ukatoka walaka gereza lihame walaka umetoka leo si ndio tunaanza kuangalia is it probable kwamba lile jengo litatumika kwa jamaa gereza kwa nini chini kuna madini Madini. ya rubi maana tayari ilo jigereza inataka liondoe kwa kwenye vitabu vya jeshi kwa sababu it is not probable that the HQ can continue enjoying the service from the building those are the issues kwa hiyo hivi vitu ambavyoongea vimejificha sana lakini ndio moyo wa financial statements na ndio moyo wa kupima kitu gani kiingie kitu gani kisiingie hii mika vizuri. Sasa, kwa hiyo nikisema recognition is a condition, it is a process for a public sector to incorporate an asset in a financial statements. Otherwise, don't do it. Hai. That is inafuata nini? Disclosure. Disclosure. sasa mtu akisema recognition of sin inaweza kuzua fivita huko so twende disclosure of asset disclosure of asset sasa neno disclosure to show to show Hii inamba tana na kitu transparency. Sawa? Transparency. Kwa mfano sasa kwenye familia. Eh? Nakana mzee pale. Disclosure ni bwana. Sare siku. Umetoka kule kuna posho pia. Eh? Leo mepata hiki. Hiyo ndio disclosure, kuonyesha kwamba events imefanyika. Show explicitly that an events has taken place. Sasa, sasa tukienda kwenye standard. Wewe unapomiliki mota vieko. What are the disclosure? Kwa mfano. Kwa hiyo mota vieko lazima iwe disclosed it scaling amount ni kiasi gani kwa utakuta kuna cost of asset ni shilingi alafu kutakuwa na scaling amount ya hiyo asset utakuwa na depreciation ya hiyo motavieko utakuwa na use of life eh kutakuwa na which model is it cost model or devaluation model so you have to disclose accounting policy policy ambayo inatumika kuna cost model na devaluation model so it could be either you are using fair value model so here ina fair value model hii ni building kwa sasa hizi ni disclosure ya kitu kwa tunategemea sasa mwandaji wa hisabu aanze kutakuta ndio kuna county policy utasikia pp tutatumia cost model chini pale kuna use of life mezi cope ni pesa kutoka hazina eh sasa wewe unauliza watu wewe nenda kwa fano kigoma eh kigoma ujiji barabara za kokoto na dar es alisam gereza la segerea kigoma si gereza la bangwe unafa bangwe eh. sasa nakupa hiyo point gereza la bangwe sasa mmetoa magari mm-hmm. tota ni cruiser 
Ingine venda bangwe, ingine segelea. Hivi, matumizi ya naringana. Kwa hivyo unaniyambe yuzi fly po, ni miaka mita. Unaniyambe yuzi, inaezeka nisai. Ehe. Kwa sabu, it's consumption. Kwa sasa, tunapu ya ongerea kwenye sabu, na unapukunye na Facebook. Unakuta yonati Facebook. <laughs> Kwa sabu, umeproduce information, ambao zina conflict. Kuna mtu moja, tukua na ikawo. Eh? Tuwaze tuwe njumba za shura msi. Kuna shure zimejengo kule njombe kwa miti na tope. Wamepata dalasi. Wengine waka tumia matofali. Kwa islamu, wamechukua blocks na cement. Alafu yuzi flyfu, wanesea miaka sabini majengo yote. Ndivu ilifu. Ili hatope miaka sabini. Ili hatofali miaka sabini. Sasa nauliza. Hivi nini mwikuwa munafanyo nje kule. Sasa account policy zenu. Kaliya kasa. Kosa hiyo ndo kita bacho. Tunawongere hapa. Disclosure. Kwa kila asset iwe na nini? Na disclosure notes. Ili msomaji aweze kuzona zile policy. Items. Na mara nyingi his disclosure. Zinapelekea mtu asihoji sana maswali. Eh. Detailed what is in a transaction. So you see how things are happening. So this is what I'm saying. It is what? Disclosure. So, mbaki nini? Measurement. That's the last number five, isn't it? Measurement. This is a procedure on how the value of an asset can be obtained. So, searching a process of getting a value. A value of asset. That's measurements. Kuna initial measurement na subsequent measurement. Sindi yorafia. Na hivi ni wosema imegusa na hizi chapra zini za mbele kwe. Kufutaona Kwa mfano, kwenye, sasa utaona kuna asset, kuna liability, kuna revenue, kila kimoja, kina, vyo tivya na mna yu. So define revenue, where do we present revenue, likogunisho revenue, vinafuata hichi unacho kizurumu. Vyo te, na hapa ukisoma standard, zinafuata kwenye vitu key five issues. Zo te standard, hatu ngeenda kwenye, hatu kwenye standard. Kila standard, utasikia inventory, what is inventory definition. How do you recognize? How do you measure initial subsequence? What are the disclosure notes? That is how the things comes in. The one that the framework in a manda masibu kuwa competence kuzi understand the standards. Kosa bo kuna a lot of terminologies ambazo zinetaji yo understanding. No na kuhabiti na yeyo vo, lakini I want to talk something here. No na revenue. No na wose maba. Revenue is. Sasa, the fix or your upper methods. Uh, chapter 6, the same idea, recognition. Ni wana chapter 6, ni kwenye ongeze kutisho peke yake. I'm about to wish I discuss. Yeah, to discuss hey. recognition. Kule kwenye eti, ni wana sani kukwambia iche kitu hapa, kwa hapa kina ongerea recognition of elements. Kwa hapa, issues. Eh, yes. Alafu hapa, unawana disclosure. Ni vitu gani? Uweke. Uh -huh. Chapter 7, ni ongerea measurements. How do you measure? Iyo wenye kishu pale. Alafu kija kwenye kingine. Ikichamwisho. Presentation. Tumisha discuss. Where do you present? So as you see now, it's possibly unaweza kupata. Na hapa ndo nakuwa mwisho wa nini? Wa hii. Concept framework. Sasa kuna kitu waka nipueleze hapa. Ambacho... Kineza kusaidia uh, Ili ukae Kujua Zuri Kwa sababu Kwa kitu kumoja kizuri sana Na nyuma kule kuna maswali 
Let me give you something here. Na maswali yako mengi lakini mazuri na majibu yake. Unaweza kuwa na maswali yanavyoulizwa pia. Kuna kitu nataka nikusaidie. Kwa ya ku sementi tu. Lakini umeshaelewa. Kwa mfano kwenye issue ya revenue. Kwenye revenue Neno revenue lipoje upande wa private sector kwenye IS. Kwa kwenye IS wa revenue ina constitute tunasema income. Tunasema income ina constitute revenue na gain. Hiyo ni katika FRS. Lakini huku kwetu ukisikia income popote utakapopaona it is equal to revenue it is equal to gain. This is in the public sector. Sasa issue ya kwanza. Sasa definition. What is revenue? What's a revenue is an increase in net asset. Is an increase in net, net asset. asset out of contributor of capital out of contributor of capital that's very important so revenue is an increase in net asset out of contributor of capital sasa who are contributor of capital capital is equal to tax payers fund capital is equal to tax payers fund and tax payers fund is initial money which was ejected to a public sector to facilitate establishment initially how much have you been given sisi ukimbana ukisha kuwa mkubwa baba anakupa viti anakupa kitanda anasema saa kajenge anze maisha pale hutaki kuja kula huku kwangu vile anakukupa mwanzoni vile ndio vinaitwa tax payers fund amekupa mtaji wa kuanzia maisha kwa hiyo vitu vinavyoingia kwa ajili ya capital au tax payers sio sehemu ya revenue ndio sura msingi hivyo sio sehemu ya revenue kama Yes. Ila akifanya addition ya capital utai add. Na wasema taxpayers must remain the same. Taxpayers fund must remain the same. Unless kuna additional taxpayers fund ambayo itakuwa described. Sasa nije kwenye taxpayers kwenye nini inaita nje hapa nataka nikujenge kwenye kitu cha kizuri cha mwisho huku kwa hiyo unapoisoma revenue nimesema ni increase in net asset without considering the taxpayers component eh yeah, yani without out of eh yeah. sasa hapa kwa mfano increase in net asset inaweza kutokea kwa njia mbili njia gapi ngoza msingi sana inawezekana kuna decrease in liability 
decrease in what? Ability. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, that way, but in a How can we have an increase in asset? Umra ni kunuka. Do he? Kwa mifika sa sumiyerewa. Nifiki sija kuambia. Kwa yu mtu akifuta mkopo. Bila mashariti. Ni mapato. Mepewa gari. Bule. Gift. Lazim debit asset. Na lebe. Mwenisikia paka. Ukerewa hivyo. Kwa usia ni mtala. Umefata concept of framework. So this is what I want to tell you on concept of framework. Kutokea hapa, vitu biyote, vinarilai kwenye haya mambo, au bazi yake. So let us stop here, ili patemda.